Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a long-awaited video coming to the channel today. Team of the Year in FIFA 22 is leaked, and we're going to take a look at the leaked 11 of cards that are out right now, and we're going to put some price predictions on them. We're also going to take a look at some cards that maybe could get Team of the Year honorable mentions, and some potential flashback SBCs that we would love to see EA drop during Team of the Year. But the main point of this video today is to take a look at this Team of the Year that is going to be released very soon and kind of just give you guys some predictions and talk through how much might these cards cost in the first couple weeks of them being put on the game. Because in general, the market is so much cheaper this year. Example, Gold Cristiano Ronaldo is 250k on PlayStation. He was a million coins last year. Prime Cruyff was 7 million plus last year. He's 5 million this year. So that's just the way of the market. And I think that will possibly make Team of the Year a bit cheaper. So, of course, thanks and a huge shout out to YFX3, my man Yaz. I'm going to leave his link down below in the description. He helped me out with all these predictions and the graphics. So make sure you give him a follow. And of course, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. So we are going to enter some leak territory. The team of the year has not been officially announced yet, but that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. So without further ado, let's look at some of the team of the year cards. If you have not seen it, we don't have stats confirmed. These are only the players that are confirmed to be in, but that's going to be a lot of the talking point today is for these cards that are getting into team of the year. In my opinion, it really depends on the stats, how much EA juice these cards, because I can show you right away the difference in the past two years of Team of the Year. Last year in FIFA 21, the stats were not that great, right? Take a look at Team of the Year Messi from FIFA 21, 93 pace, 73 physical, right? On his Team of the Year card last year. If you go back to FIFA 20, he had 96 pace and 85 physical on that item, right? Kevin De Bruyne FIFA 20 versus FIFA 21. I tweeted that out last night. The boosts on these cards last year, they did not make Team of the Year the best cards in the game last year in FIFA 21, and I really hope that this year they do. So let's get into some price predictions. We're going to start with the defenders and move our way forward to the attackers. Now, why would Team of the Year be a little bit cheaper this year, right? As we talked about, the whole market in general is just really cheap and inexpensive compared to previous years in FIFA. And I think that's gonna, you know, it's affected every part of the market so far with a couple exceptions here and there, like Winter Wild Cards Zlatan or Winter Wild Cards um, Neymar. Those are both still very expensive cards and they're, you know, because they have a ton of hype, right? And I think that's why they've kind of, you know, not been affected as much by the cheaper prices. But with this league team of the year 11 defenders here, I'm going to put some prices on these guys' names. Donnarumma, goalkeepers every year in team of the year are around 500,000 coins. Usually, um, our goalkeepers, like we had Neuer last year, and we didn't have any Bundesliga cards that were in the defense to like link him to. This year with all the PSG hype, and we're going to talk about that a lot too, I think that Donnarumma, even though team of the year um, cards are going to be a little cheaper this year, Donnarumma has a team of the group stage item that's 180k at the moment. Again, with Marquinhos and Hakimi, and everybody uses Kempembe in this game. Everybody uses Kaza, you know, all of the links that this Donnarumma has. I think that he is going to still be around that 500,000 coin price range for that card. Now, getting into some of the other PSG guys in this defense, Hakimi. Hakimi is a really hard one because, yes, you think this market is very different than in prior years, but look at that card. If they give him an insane juice like this, and that's why I'm still going to say a lot in this video, it really depends on how good the stats are. If they give proper insane team of the year boost and they max these cards out as team of the years, in my opinion, still should be the best cards that we see all year until like July or whatever, when they're just throwing out insane cards for the summer. I mean, this Hakimi card could be absolutely nasty. Now, there's one card that it kind of reminds me of last year. Um, we had a first-time Team of the Year item for Alfonso Davies. 99 pace, 91 defense, 90 physical. And this was his first-ever Team of the Year item. This is going to be Hakimi's first-ever Team of the Year item. Last year, Alfonso Davies was, in the first week, 1.8 to 2 million coins, and then slowly dropped off. So around a 1.8, 1.9 mil. I think that if the market wasn't super-duper cheap this year, Hakimi's Team of the Year item would probably be somewhere around 2 million because... An insane link like this with the messy link on the right side, I think that's going to make this Hakimi card be, if not the most expensive, the second most expensive 
team of the year defender. I think that Hakimi's card is going to end up being somewhere around 1.5 million coins. Now, again, if this was last year's market, maybe I would say 2 million plus, but just because of how insane he is in game, all the links that he has to the Messi, to the Marquinhos, all the PSG cards that are so hyped in this game, I'm still going to say about 1.5 million coins for the best right back in the game, hands down. No contest, right? I think he's going to be in that range. Now, Marquinhos. Marquinhos, and there's always a center back that is over 2 million coins in team of the year. And I think out of this team of the year, he is going to be the guy, right? Because if you're using Donnarumma or Hakimi, who are you going to sandwich in the middle, right? You're going to use this Marquinhos. And again, with the stats that we see potentially here, I mean, we already have a road to the final Marquinhos that has been around a million coins for part of this year. 900K is kind of where he's topped out. Uh, and so I think people will have no problem paying 2 million coins for a team of the year Marquinhos. I think that's where he is going to settle. It's his first ever team of the year, all the PSG links as well. That's going to cause that price to be maybe a little bit higher than some in the rest of this team. Now let's move on to the other parts of the defense. The perfect link between Ruben Diaz and Joao Cancelo. Ruben Diaz already has one card in this game. It's the signature signings. Um, 89 rated item that card has 76 pace what's really going to make the difference on Ruben Diaz team of the year item is the pace if they give him 88 pace or upper 80s if it's anything above 85 I think that means that Ruben Diaz is going to be somewhere around the 1.25 to 1.5 mil range I know that his defending stats look really good if they give him like 88 pace to 90 pace, then I could see him going more towards like 1.5 mil. But again, with the market being cheaper this year, he does get that perfect link to Cancelo and he does have the Manchester City links. But um, I still think that he's going to be the cheaper of the two center backs. So that's why I'm valuing, valuing him in that 1.25 to 1.5 mil range. 1.75 at a, at a peak, right? If he's stupid OP in game because of an insane upgrade, then maybe somewhere around that price range. Now, 95 Cancelo is another interesting one as well. Uh, I don't know what his position is going to be, right? I would imagine that since we have um, the right back Hakimi in team of the year, that EA would make Cancelo a left back, but they might not necessarily do that. They might put him as a right back still. We've had uh, three center backs in the past during team of the year, but since Cancelo does have a lot of left back cards, I could see it being possible that he does get a left back item. Now, we have this headliners Cancelo, which is live. Um, and it's about 250, 260,000 coins. Cancelo's card's gonna look nasty, right? With the concept that we just saw. And, you know, Cancelo is a, you know, one of the best left backs in this game. You've got Teo Hernandez that is in the conversation. There's, there's a couple other cards that are in that conversation. But even as a left back card, with the stats that he has and with the links that he gets, um, you know, of course, on this team of the year item, that physical boost is gonna be what we're gonna look for. But this is such a good, um, left back and a, such a good defender in the game that I kind of expect Cancelo to be somewhere around the 1 million coin range. I think he might be the cheapest defender in the team though. I think all the hype's going to be on, on Hakimi and Marquinhos um, and then Ruben Diaz and Cancelo were going to fall behind just a little bit. Just a little bit, right? Not much, but just a little bit. So I'm thinking Cancelo is going to be somewhere between 800k to a mil. That's kind of my uh, prediction there. Now let's move on to the attackers sorry not attackers midfielders we're going to keep it moving with midfielders i'm going to try to go through these as fast as i can because there's a lot to talk about right next up we have the midfielders 96 kdb 96 conte and 97 Jorginho. right a huge boost for Jorginho is what we need or he might be the cheapest team of the year apart from donnarumma out of the whole squad if they don't give him a massive boost this Jorginho card right here would be really insane and i hope they give him a card like this. If he does get stats like this, though, I think that he'll be somewhere around like the 1.2 million coin range, 1.25, just over a mil, maybe 1.5 at the max. Taking a look at Conte, right? Back in team of the year after not being in team of the year um, last year in FIFA 21. Conte's team of the year cards are always pretty expensive. French links are so very overpowered and hyped this year. And in the past, Conte's been around two and a half million coins. Uh, as a part of like FIFA 20's team of the year, FIFA 19 team of the year, he was around that two and a half million coin range. Again, with prices being a little cheaper this year, I'm going to have to say that Conte's around two million coins, somewhere around that two million coin range. And Kevin De Bruyne is another very interesting one, right? Again, we need to see a big boost on this card. 
And if they give him the correct boost, if they give him this card, 90 pace, I think that's one of the key stats for KDB. If he gets 99 passing and 90 pace, that will make KDB be above 2 million coins, 2.25 mil, similar to last year, um, but a little bit cheaper than in years past uh, from like FIFA 20 when he had the insane team of the year card um, and of course team of the season later on. But I really hope they give KDB 90 pace. That would help out, especially you think of a triangle with DS, Cancelo, and KDB, that'd be an insane group of players to have together. I feel like, just being completely honest, the midfield is the least hype part of Team of the Year. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but I think this is like the least hype section and least hype portion of the squad itself. Let's move on to attackers, right? There's some big boy attackers in here, and I'm also going to talk about the 12th man here in a second. Now, this is the second Team of the Year in a row for Robert Lewandowski. Uh, last year, he started off very expensive, but again, with how the stats were not very good in FIFA 21 on these cards, Lewandowski quickly dropped from about 3 million coins, and about a month later, he was like 2 mil. He dropped off a million coins very fast. For that case in point, and for him being the only Bundesliga card in Team of the Year, and for Bundesliga not being as hyped, and this card not being as super duper meta in the game, I'm sure this card's going to be insane, right? Whether he's a 98 or a 99, if he has stats similar to this, I think Lewandowski would be around 2 million coins. Now, move on to the two big boy attackers, 98 Mbappe. Mbappe, this is crazy, right? The market is so much cheaper this year, but Mbappe still maintains his very expensive price, right? If you take a look at Mbappe's gold card on the market, he is 916,000 coins. Last year on FIFA 21, where the market was so much more expensive, he was also 900k. That just goes to show how much hype this Mbappe has and how good he is in game. Now, his headliners card is 4.3 mil. That has dropped off since the announcement of the team of the year. But again, team of the year Mbappe's in the past have been 6 to 7 million coins apiece. Mbappe last year was 7 million coins. In FIFA 20, I believe Mbappe was also around 6.5 to 7 mil. He was actually only 6 mil starting off and then went down to 5.5. But Mbappe with so much more hype this year in FIFA and with a headliners card that is already 4 million coins, I honestly think that Mbappe's team of the year this year is going to be one of those that still stays above its uh, cheaper price, right? I think that Mbappe is not going to be cheaper this year just because of how stupidly insane he's probably going to be in game. I think this Mbappe is going to be 7 million coins. I honestly think that he is going to be 7 mil, especially if they make him 98 rated. They give him the 99s and the pace and the, and the dribbling categories and like max him out everywhere else. I think that this card is going to be stupid good. So that card is going to be, in my opinion, the most expensive team of the year on this game this year yes cheaper than cristiano ronaldo if he does win 12th man so seven mil for mbappe seems pretty fair to me and i think people are going to be willing to pay that price for that card now team of the year messi team of the year messi is a very interesting one because he's no longer in la liga he has got the psg links which i think makes his card a bit more valuable now messi's team of the year in prior years has always been around the four to five million coin range. Last year, he was like 4.5 to five mil for the first month that he was out in the game. Of course, he was at Barcelona, but the, the upgrades weren't as good. Now with the market being a little cheaper this year again, but him having the PSG links, I think, I also think that Messi should have more than 92 pace and more than 77 physical. If this is the card that Messi gets, he might be about like four and a half to five million coins. But if they give him like 95 pace, if they give him above 80 physical, like they did in FIFA 20 for his insane Tots card or team of the year card that we had then, I feel like Messi's going to be five million coins on this market. And I think those PSG links, you know, again, Hakimi, boom, and a 4-5-1 Hakimi and Messi on the side linking together. Messi is very, very good in this game of FIFA. So I think five million coins is fair. I think it's very, very fair. And I think it's very possible because people will want to run Mbappe and Messi, Hakimi, Marquinhos. They're going to want to have all those PSG links if they have a lot of coins. Some of the guys with crazy amounts of coins going after the best cards in this game that's who they're going to want to go after. So those are my price predictions for those cards. Now let's move on a little bit and talk about some honorable mentions, right? Now I know these are in concepts as actual team of the year players here, but these could potentially be like honorable mention team of the year cards. If you guys remember last year, we had a couple of those. So I'm going to shout out some price predictions if some of these players were to get honorable mention team of the year. Now for those honorable mention cards, I do think that uh, they usually 
you know, don't release them as insane of stats as the team of the year cards. So I think that the honorable mentions will be cheaper. Um, I hope Mendy gets a card. I hope Tail. I hope that they release like five or six honorable mentions, maybe even like eight of them, because that would just make team of the year a lot more exciting to have more players in packs than just uh, the starting 11 and 12th man. So we've got Mendy, Teo Hernandez, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Kimmich here. For just for a quick blow through of these prices, I feel like if they got nominee items, Mendy would be about 400K. Teo Hernandez would still be a bit over a million coins just because he'd be a French left back and probably the best left back in the game, somewhere like 1.25 mil. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold will be somewhere around 750K with Cancelo's headliner card that is honestly just as good in game, if not maybe better than this Trent card. You've got, of course, Hakimi with all the hype. You've got a Kloss SBC. You've got a Darmian card that have come out recently. Um, I think people would not spend more than 750K for a Trent card, even though it looks really, really insane. Kimmich as well, still an honorable mention potentially for team of the year. I think this card will be about 1.25 mil. Just with the Bundesliga links, not being as hype right now in this game, in this year in total. I think he'd be a little bit cheaper than years past, although he would be a very, very good card in game. Now let's take a look at some of the big boys. Some of the big boy predictions for honorable mentions. Of course, Mohamed Salah, Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, and Barella. I mean, I think that three of the guys in here, Benzema, Salah, and Ronaldo, will be in the voting for 12th man. Probably throw Neymar into that vote as well. But I think if that vote does happen, I think Cristiano Ronaldo is going to end up winning. I think it's almost inevitable that Ronaldo would win that vote for the 12th man just based off of popularity. Manchester United links for a team of the Ronaldo. I'm kind of down for that. Just from a gameplay, FIFA, card collecting almost perspective. I'm down for a team of the year Ronaldo. Now, team of the year Ronaldo has been eight, nine million coins in the past. But again, with his card probably not going to look as good as it has in previous years when he was in the team of the year starting 11. I feel like with a 95 pace on a Ronaldo, that might knock down his price a little bit. And again, everything is just cheaper this year. Anyways, I'm saying six million coins for a Ronaldo team of the year. Uh, let's say if Salah, Benzema, or Barella were to get honorable mentions, Barella would be so dope. Uh, and I think that with all the Barella hype that there is in this game, he's got the headliners item, obviously. If they gave him an honorable mentions that was really high rated, I think it'd be somewhere around a million coins because that would still be the best um, Italian midfielder in the game. You could play Barella and Jorginho together with some other good um, Serie A or maybe even Icon Italy links. And that would be a card that a lot of people would get very hyped about. Benzema, of course, everybody uses the flashback. I think he is deserving to be in the team of the year, uh, honorable mentions, maybe even in the team of the year itself, although he did not get in. I think this Benzema card would be around a million coins as well, depending on the rating and the boost that they gave his item. And then Salah, I think Salah would be pretty expensive. Uh, if Salah were to get in as an honorable mention, especially if they gave him a 95 plus rated card, I would give Salah somewhere around like a two mil price tag um, because still, it would be a card that so many people would want to go out and get, even if it's not 97 rated and a team of the year. Maybe it's somewhere like 95 rated. Um, I know he's got the headliners card, so that might in intrude on that card a little bit. Um, but a team of the year honorable mentions card design, potentially if he were to get one, that's where I could see his price kind of being on the market. So that's kind of the team of the year, boys. I know that it's like, man, this team of the year is crazy. There's a lot of great cards in here, but it all comes down to the boosts. And if EA does not boost these cards really well, if we have a team of the year that looks like this with insane stats, I think the card design this year looks really, really dope. But if we have a 96 pace Messi with 85 physical, we have the 99s. Uh, if we get 99 rated and 98 rated team of the years, then we're going to be happy, right? They're going to boost these cards as they should. But if we don't have any 99s like we didn't last year, I think we're going to be a bit underwhelmed and people are going to not want to pay as much for some of these team of the year items. So I just would keep that in mind. The biggest thing here that would change the prices of these cards on this game would be the stat boost that they get. So that's my price predictions for the team of the year. Now, a couple SBCs I know a lot of people would like to view some flashback SBCs that we could see during this promo uh, just to run through these really, really quickly, um, Sergio Ramos would be a bang and flashback SBC, right? He's been in team of the year a number of times over the past few years. Last year he was in, this year he is obviously not. That'd be a great flashback SBC. Tiago Silva would be a bang and SBC for a flashback. Danny Alves, I think, is one of the most popular cards that people hope to get a flashback 
Um, now, I don't even know if he's been added to the game. There was just a squad update last night when I loaded into FIFA. Uh, but I don't think that would add Danny Elvis to the game yet. I think we would have to wait until like February to get a Danny Elvis flashback after the January transfer window closes and EA add those new transferred cards to the game. So I don't know if that's going to happen during Team of the Year just to make sure that you're aware and you know thinking of that unless EA make an exception uh, and then put him in the game sooner. A Marcelo flashback, which we did have last year, that would be a great flashback card as well. Now a couple more and there's one card in here that I think has a really high chance of getting a flashback and that is Neymar. I think that EA Sports with Neymar not being included in Team of the Year, Neymar's got the Winter Wild Cards item. This would be the perfect year for them to drop a flashback Neymar SBC, kind of like they did around this time last year. They dropped a flashback Cristiano Ronaldo right wing SBC, right? A lot of people called him CR6 because he wasn't that great in game. But I could see a flashback Neymar being a part of this game this year. Um, I think that's very possible. But a Pogba, a Falcao would be sick, or a Suarez would all be very obvious and very um, time worthy options of team of the year cards that are team of the year worthy items that have had team of the years in the past that we would love to see get special cards as a part of the team of the year promo. So I know the team of the year is not here yet. I know there's going to be some more leaks. There's going to be more information coming out about these cards, but these are my price predictions for these cards. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I think in general, prices are going to be a little bit cheaper this year on Team of the Year. Not crazy, just a little bit uh, because Team of the Years are still going to be, if they give them the right boosts, the best cards in the game and everybody's going to want to go after them and that's going to keep them at a higher price. But I think with the pack weight this year and the way that EA is just going to put out so many packs during Team of the Year that it's just inevitable but they will be a little bit cheaper on the market. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.